Hello everyone! Today I will show you how I make this gelatinous, nutrient-rich and delicious yet very easy to make beef bone broth. It is much easier to make the beef bone broth in a slow cooker, but if you don't have one, you can use your stove top and a large pot that you can close with a lid. Today I'm using two types of bones, marrow bones and some other random bones. The bone marrow is loaded with nutrients and I'm sure it will make a delicious beef bone broth. And I always make sure to buy bones from grass-fed, grass-finished animals that haven't been treated with antibiotics or growth hormones because once we start cooking them, whatever is in them, it will be transferred to the bone broth. I like to roast the marrow bones in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes at the most, just to give them a nice roasted flavor which will transfer into the broth. I'm not adding anything to the marrow bones but a pinch of Himalayan salt. While the marrow bones are roasting in the oven, I will arrange the random beef bones at the bottom of the slow cooker and add 4 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. The vinegar, or acid, will start breaking down the bones and extract all the goodness out of them. Next, I'm adding enough water to cover the bones, in my case about 6 cups, and turning the slow cooker to low so the vinegar can start extracting goodness out of the bones. Once the marrow bones are out of the oven, add them to the slow cooker and make sure to splash some water into the baking tray and add any drippings that might have been left behind. Now, when it comes to flavoring the beef bone broth, you don't have to add anything at all. However, I have been adding a few things that make it super delicious and even more nutri nutritious. One of them is bay leaf and I usually add about 5 of them because the flavor is just so good. I also add a teaspoon of turmeric because the health benefits are countless. Your heart and blood sugar levels just to name a couple. And to make the turmeric more potent, I'm adding a teaspoon of finely grounded black pepper. As always with my cooking, I'm adding 2 teaspoons of Himalayan salt because it is so rich in minerals and later when I drink it, I do add a little more. I'm also adding half an onion, 3 leaves of kale and a half a bunch of parsley. I'm splitting the onion, kale and parsley in halves because out of those bones, I will make another batch tomorrow when this bone broth is done. And I use this thread just to make it easier to take the kale and the parsley out of the slow cooker at the end of the cooking. Finally, tap the cooker with water, add the drippings, set it to high and let it be until the liquid starts to bubble. In my case, it took 5 hours and it's already looking really good. Now, I will turn it down to low and will let the bone broth cook for another 12 hours. The next morning, I took everything out of the bone broth and strained it to remove any large particles. I waited for it to cool for about an hour and poured it into jars. Now, I have to expand on this process a little bit. First of all, I'm not filling the jars all the way to the top because when I put them in the freezer, the liquid will expand and it will crack the jar. For a couple of hours, I will let the jars sit in the freezer without the lids. And after a couple of hours, I will take the jars out of the freezer and remove the fat from the top, which I will store and use in the mornings to make my eggs in it. At this point, I will loosely close the lids and will store my wonderful beef bone broth in the freezer. Also, whatever meat was left in the crock pot, I will mix with my eggs in the morning. Just about no waste operation. Here you can see how wonderful the bone broth from the second batch turned out. I used the same bones but fresh kale, onion and parsley. I hope this quick recipe is helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you well. Goodbye.